It's scary. I'm looking at some of my favourite jumbo animals. Asiatic lion. Their prides differ in group composition. Males are solitary or associate with up to three males, while females associate with up to 12 other females, forming a stronger pride together with their cubs. Males and females only associate for mating. African elephant. They are considered to be keystone species due to their impact on their environments. Other animals tend to keep their distance from elephants. The exception is their predators, such as lions, tigers, hyenas and wild dogs, which usually target only young elephant calves. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Giraffe. Males assess a female's fertility by testing the female's urine to detect estrus. When courting, dominant males will keep subordinate ones at bay. A courting male may lick a female's tail, rest his head and neck on her body, or nudge her with his Aussie cones. During copulation, the male stands on his hind legs with his head held up and his front legs resting on the female's sides. Silverback Gorilla Gorillas live in troops. The silverback is the centre of the troops' attention, making all the decisions, mediating conflicts, determining the movements of the group, leading the others to feeding sites and taking responsibility for the safety and well-being of the troop. Younger males subordinate to the silverback. They are known as blackbacks. They may serve as backup protection though. Pangolin is a scaly anteater. They are mammals of the order Pholodota. This word means horny scale. Pangolins have large protective keratin scales covering their skin. They are the only known mammals with this feature. The pangolin scale body looks much like a pine cone to me. White Siberian or Amur Tiger Tigers in mainland Asia fall into two clades. The northern clade comprises the Siberian and Caspian tiger populations and the southern clade all remaining continental tiger populations. Wolf is the most specialised member of the genus Canis for cooperative big game hunting the wolf is typically an apex predator throughout its range. It is related to the coyote and golden jackal. The Florida panther. They are mid-sized for their species, being smaller than cougars from northern and southern climes, but larger than cougars from the neotropics. Grizzly bear, they have a promiscuous mating system. Cubs from the same litter can have different fathers. Although the female is in heat for a number of weeks, she will only allow a male to mount her when she is most receptive during the three to five day period in the middle of her estrus cycle. During mating, the male and female mate repeatedly over two or three days. Intercourse is repeated many times. Each time it takes only a matter of seconds but the pair stays locked together, sometimes taking a short break until the next bout. Copulation normally lasts 20 to 30 minutes but may last up to one hour or more. To tell the sexes apart, if the penis sheath and testicles are not visible, it's all about how they urinate. Females urinate straight down and to the rear, and the males urinate forward between their hind legs. 
tiger, adult tigers lead largely solitary lives. They establish and maintain territories but have much wider home ranges within which they roam. Resident adults of either sex generally confine their movements to their home ranges within which they satisfy their needs and those of their growing cubs. The ferret is a domesticated form of the European polecat, a mammal belonging to the same genus as the weasel mustela in the family Mustela day. Ferrets are sexually dimorphic predators with males being substantially larger than the females. The Arctic Fox. They form monogamous pairs during the breeding season and they stay together to raise their young in complex underground dens. To prevent heat loss, the Arctic Fox curls up tightly, tucking its legs and head under its body and behind its furry tail. The Prairie Dog, they are not related to dogs. They get their name from their habitat and warning call, which sounds similar to a dog's bark. American River Otter is a semi-aquatic mammal endemic to the North American continent found in and along its waterways and coasts. The River Otter is protected and insulated by a thick water repellent coat of fur. The Black Panther. It is thought that melanism may confer a selective advantage under certain conditions since it is more common in regions of dense forest where light levels are lower. Recently preliminary studies also suggest that melanism might be linked to beneficial mutations in the immune system. The squirrel monkey. Like most of their new world monkey relatives, squirrel monkeys are diurnal and arboreal. Their tail is not used for climbing, but as a kind of balancing pole and also as a tool. Their movements in the branches can be very rapid. The Okapi is an artiodactyl or even toad ungulate mammal native to the northeast of the Democratic Republic of the Congo in Central Africa. The male okapis have short, hair-covered horn-like protuberances on their head called Aussie cones. This next okapi shows them. Wildlife or wild animals traditionally refers to undomesticated animal species but has come to include all organisms that grow or live wild in an area without being introduced by humans. Wildlife can be found in all ecosystems, deserts, forests, rainforests, plains, grasslands and other areas including the most developed urban areas all have distinct forms of wildlife. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.